And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to breast out a bird. Uh, we shot this bird this morning. Uh, we got him tagged up, uh, got all our, all our stuff in line here, and now we're going to breast him out. And we're going to show you how to do that. You start by just coming, finding this breastbone right here. You find the breastbone. A lot of people think that you have to pluck the feathers. You don't have to do that. That's an unnecessary step. You just find this breastbone right here. You'll see it. You find that, and that's where you start. You'll make an incision right along that breastbone just to open up the skin. And once you have that started, you just open him up like a zipper. And like I said, a lot of people think that you've got to pluck those feathers and you just you just don't. You don't have to do that. It's an unnecessary step that just it just takes longer to breast him out. But once you open him up, you just take it all the way back down to the base of the tail feathers back here. And then you take it all the way up here. You got to be careful up here though between his beard and his breastbone. That's where you're going to get up into all the good stuff there and you don't want to you don't want to uh, get into the stomach. You don't want to get up into the organs. So be very careful between the breastbone and the beard. And you just want to start right here once you get him opened up. You just want to keep it going. Keep it going by laying that back and you'll see the crease. You're just going to follow this crease. You're going to take it all the way down. Take it all the way down past that, that breast, the turkey breast. And you'll see here, you'll see here, here in a minute when we get him opened up even more, you'll see all the organs that you're trying to stay away from. Just like if he's gotten a deer, you want to stay away from the stomach. Because it's never fun whenever you get into the stomach. And I put a little bit of a nick there, but that's all right. And it helps. The whole process, if you pull, you pull that away, and it, right there, you'll see exactly where you need to lay that knife blade. You'll see exactly where you need to put that. Whenever you pull, it just, it just magnifies that. All right, now we've got him opened up. We're gonna do a little more right here. Get this laid back a little bit more here. Get everything exposed. And you'll see here, that right there is where all of the internal, internal organs, right there is where he's going to have his crawl, his stomach, all the, the innards that you want to stay away from is right there. And his breasts come right down here on each side of it. Both breasts do. So stay away from this. Be very careful when you're up in this region. But when you're back here at the back of the breast, the bottom of it, you don't have to worry as much. There's not as much you got to pay attention to. So we're going to start back here, get it, finish laying it open. Once you've got all of it opened up, you want to start right here, back on this big breastbone. And you're going to take that knife blade and just insert it. Poke it in. Keep that knife blade angled in toward this bone. That keeps you from cutting into the meat. And you're just going to cut right through here, all the way back, staying up against that bone. You're going to do the same thing going forward. It's kind of rounded right here. It's kind of a ball shaped. You're just going to follow that. Just gonna follow it all the way around. And once you get it laid open there, it really just starts to fall off. And you can see here, you've got all this bone right through here. And as you lay that off, if you lay that breast off there, you're just following that bone. It's all you're doing. Just following that bone. That bone is your guide. You do want to go slow. It's not a race. We're not doing a video of breasting out a turkey in 10 seconds. You want to be able to get all that meat off there in one big fillet. And you may get a little bit off course as I just did there. But as you can see here, now that we've got him off, you just follow that line. Just follow that line between the breast and all the organs there. 
go real slow whenever you're getting down here around the around the innards. Now that we got him laid back there, we got two pieces. You've got the main breast and you've got the fillet. Sometimes people like to take them out in two pieces. I prefer to take, or some people like to take them out in one piece. I prefer to take them out in two, just because they naturally want to go that way. The bottom fillet and the top breast. There we have the bottom fillet just come out. That's on the underneath, kind of like a deer's back strap and tenderloin. That right there is going to be your tenderloin. We'll come over here. Make sure you got a couple of Ziploc bags. Open them up. Then we're going to come back here and finish bringing out this breast. And really, if you put a little pressure, if you pull a little bit, again, that's going to show you exactly where your knife needs to go. Just follow those lines. His, his feathers are starting to get away just a little bit. You can take those back, skin that back, and get them out of the way if they kind of get on your nerves there. If they start to get in the way, all you got to do is just cut them away. It makes it a little bit easier on you. I like to stick my fingers down in here, but not in the way. Help you guys as that comes out. And there you have the main turkey breast. Comes out in one good, nice, big piece. Again, you've got that tenderloin underneath it that you can take out in two pieces. Some people like to take it out in one big piece, but uh, you have the big breast on top. You've got the tenderloin underneath it. And then you're going to have a little bit here that you're going to want to trim away once you get it inside. Once you get near a, uh, a sink somewhere, some running water, you're going to pick all these feathers off of it. There's going to be little feathers. You're going to get the excess fat, anything that's on here, uh, excess tendons that you've got hanging off, whatever. Uh, just trim it up good. You're going to put it in your, in your uh, freezer bags uh, and, and put it on ice. And then uh, you're ready to have a great uh, wild turkey dinner.